He's seen the design, right? I think the biggest fear I have going into this meeting is that Chris will look at this and then he'll be like, you guys spent two months on this? Do I look like I need a hug? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> this is the unveiling. Move that browser, let me see it. Uh-oh. Our final episode starts now. Welcome to Design From Scratch. Hey, so if you're new here, welcome to the future. We are a group of creative professionals on a mission to teach you the value of design, and specifically, how to bridge the gap between your creativity and making cash money. But we're more than that. The future is about changing the way you learn. Our goal is to teach 1 billion people, and it all hinges on how many compliments you people give me in the comments on this video. Totally serious. Welcome back, my friends. In the event you forgot who I am, my name is Greg Gunn, and also, how dare you? Now, this is the final episode in the digital saga that is the redesign of thefuture.com. We are on the last one. Can you even believe it? I can. I'm totally okay with that, too. You'll see why later. If you haven't watched the first two episodes, a lot of what you're about to see probably won't make sense. So do yourself a favor and go watch those two episodes right now. You'll find a link to both of them in the description right down there. You know what else you'll find in the description? A link to our sponsor, Webflow. They're an incredible website building platform and, as it turns out, what we're using to redesign our own site. Stick around and you'll see how that works. Okay, now where were we? In episode one, we laid out a crystal clear strategy for the site, mostly. Because it sounds like we're just doing more of the same. It's like, we're just gonna reskin this or rename it. And is that going to be effective to help address the, the pain point that we've identified is why we're kind of retooling everything in the first place. And in episode two, our friend Jamie helped translate that vision into visual form. You know, we, we've had round one of design. What was your gut reaction? To I hated it. <laughs> Eek! Oh my God, okay. My feedback at this point would be start over from the ground up. Ouch, ouch. So here we are, about to start development. Full up making it for realsies <laughs> on Monday, if not Friday. Friday is not a good day to start that. What could possibly go wrong? We're gonna get the design file from Jamie and me and Greg will start developing using Webflow. Maybe I'm just too positive right now, but I think a month will be a good place that we will be like kind of like done with initial development stage. Did I mention that neither Sing nor I know how to use Webflow? Oh my God. Well, we don't, but fortunately we're quick learners. Let's see how it's going. I want to look at the pages that we have built. Should we look at the, the homepage again? Not too shabby for having never used Webflow. So far, so good, I mean. We should probably look at our schedule again, too, because okay. I told Chris the end of the month we'd have a desktop version ready. We could do it. I month? think so. Yeah. It's only okay, been like one, a week and a half. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. I Famous last that. words. <laughs> Fingers crossed, but I'm pretty comfortable yeah. about that, that line. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. You good? Good luck. So I have two and a half weeks left <laughs> to beat the whole, the whole site. So I don't know. We have a lot of pages. Saying, get on it, man. Move fast. Yeah. I think I could do it. <laughs> Coincidentally, while I'm telling you this right now, if you can hear that crazy cackling in the background from the kitchen, that's saying clearly working on the website. Okay, so at this point, we feel pretty good about progress. We've spent five weeks designing and nine weeks developing this beast in Webflow. It's been a lot of work for our little team, but 36 pages, 47 blog post translations, 14 DLC pages, and nine database collections later, we thought, oh shit. We should show Chris. I don't know, Chris hasn't come knocking on my door just yet. So far as I know, actually I have no idea what Chris thinks right now. Hmm, I don't wanna think about that though. Do you ever wake up and then immediately think to yourself, today is gonna suck?
I don't want to be like, oh, I'm worried because I'm not prepared well for this one. It's fine. I'm nervous too, but I don't want to be like, ah, like, I don't want to be nail biting. Chris is picky, man. He want this website to be really good. So that's why I think the expectation could be really high. I have no idea what to expect because I've been kept in the dark, but I'm excited to see it because we are way behind schedule. This is, uh, Chris, this is your first time seeing the design, right? Yeah. Okay. So this... Like I said, I'm here to give my uninformed opinion. <laughs> <laughs> so this will be interesting. This Thanks. is the unveiling. This is like when they move the bus. Move that bus. <laughs> You're about to move the bus, right? Right, yeah. So move that browser. Let me see it. So we're either going to take your breath away or you'll just kind of storm out of the room. Just before we, we take a look at stuff, uh, where we're at in, in status-wise with the site is almost everything has been laid out, designed, and built in, in Webflow. Please consider this when we're looking at the site and the lens through which you know, you're <coughs> judging. Pause, please. Okay, quick presentation tip for you here. Resist the urge to share something with a client without any context. And if you're looking for feedback, let the person know what you are looking for feedback about. And give them some structure for how to respond. You will thank me later. Okay, unpause. Okay, so. Let's start with the homepage. Well, Chris looks happy. I don't know if you can tell it in the footage, but I held my breath for about 42 hours in that meeting. At least that's what it felt like. Now on the one hand, I'm proud of what we've accomplished. We actually did do a lot of work. But on the other hand, what the hell is going to happen? You guys have been working away at this for, for months, and I'm now seeing it for the first time, like, what? I look at the stylescape, and I'm like, wait, it doesn't quite look like the stylescape to me? me. We spent a lot of time, and if we measure the man hours and the money against design phase, and, and you guys focused on this where nothing's on your plate, for the record, our plates weren't empty the whole time, but I understand what he means. I'm speaking very frankly right now. I'm not seeing a great return on investment of time or resources, and I can't figure out why. It's a little painful for me right now. You guys have thoughts on that? 100% agree. Okay. I think everything that I thought Chris was going to say and respond to, he did exactly what I thought he was going to do. When the team showed me the new landing page, I just didn't even think it looked like anything that we talked about. And the page that mattered the most to me was even there. It didn't have the design, it didn't have the messaging, it didn't have the, the core components. So I was just kind of like, what have you guys been doing? Do you need a hug? <laughs> no, man, I'm good, I'm good. Do I look like I need a hug? A little bit. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that sucked. But in hindsight, it wasn't necessarily a surprise. You see, even though Sang and I spent a lot of time and effort building out the whole website, we didn't make it past the first two pages with Chris. And that's because there was a fundamental flaw in our approach to this whole thing. I think this happens a lot. Like when you're focused on one task, on a project, you kind of get narrow-sighted, and I was too concerned on developing the site on time. I was a little more focused on making sure we got things done versus like, does it look exactly how I want it to? Mm. Let's get it standing up first. Let's keep going. Let's get this shit done. There's doing it right, but then done is better than perfect. Mm -hmm. Done is better than perfect, but we weren't even aiming for perfect. We were struggling with the balance of finishing the website and finishing this series. We need an end to this project. <laughs> this needs to end, man. <laughs> Chicken, egg. But removing all extenuating circumstances, in this case, our fatal flaw was keeping our client in the dark. We're just guessing that this is gonna work or this is what client wants. And sometimes it's just, we're just thinking two different things. I think that's what happened today. We were like, kind of like keeping it secret. Like, okay, we're gonna prepare this food and we're gonna just give it to you when it's done. And today is like, okay, tasting kind of day. And then Chris is like, oh, this is not what I like, you know? I don't like this fish. Sales page will do what it needs to do. What is the rest of the site for? It's to really communicate our mission and to rank really high for whatever it is that we want people to find us for. Remember what we were struggling with back in episode one? 
Ben is trying to make the company money, where Chris is trying to tell the story of like why we're doing what we're doing. I understand the, the, uh, the reason for both of their positions, but at the same time, I feel like we waste a lot of time in these meetings. And the reason being is, is it's very hard to do something like this for yourself. Has any, uh, anyone seen my objectivity laying around? I, I, just, I can't find it. So let's talk about why we missed the mark. Everything that Chris said in the meeting about the design, I was like, yes, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Totally makes sense. Yeah. It doesn't quite look like the style scape to me. Because we have like fine type, we have contrast, we have, you have big numbers, you have small type, bold, and even the labs one right in the smack in the middle there. And you have shadows and overlay and a feeling of dimension. And I feel like when we go to look at our current build, it feels super flat and boxy. Like it's very graded out and there's nothing that has shadows, overlays, the, the detail which I'm seeing. It wasn't until Chris kind of like outlined those, like it doesn't match the stylescape because of these things. These, it yeah. was like, hmm. It's weird because when I was working on it, I didn't really see the small flaws. But when Chris was mentioning and then like, now that I see all this stuff that we could have done. So my question is, why didn't we show Chris? <laughs> Months later, we're looking at this website and it's not that reflective of the original stylescape, the design direction that we had come up with. Um, I'm also disappointed. I believe I was only in one meeting for the design and it seemed like it was headed in the dire right direction that we were all on the same page and I didn't want to be another cook in the kitchen. Ironically, who we really needed back then was Chef Boyardo. You've got to be... <laughs> okay. We're gonna say that, all right. Having more of us in those meetings would have done nothing yeah. to this process. And looking back, being involved, more involved in the design meetings and, and pitching more opinions and more feedback, it would have just slowed the entire process down. I feel like Sang and Greg, since they're the ones responsible for this and they're the ones that have their signature on this, they're probably gonna be feeling the most heat in the next couple of weeks. So I think it's a good reason for us to like step it up this time. I'm more fired up than like before meeting. So in a nutshell, we have a whole new website built, but it's underwhelming. And it's missing some key design elements from the stylescape that we all know and really love. We took our lumps, we learned our lesson, but now it's time to get back to work. Let's figure out action plans for moving forward. Yes. Right? So we gotta, you know, talk about what's priority, what should be left off. Now I know what you're probably thinking. This guy has great hair. And you're not wrong, but that doesn't change the fact that this was a very tough learning experience for us. We missed the mark with Chris and we lost our objectivity along the way, but I don't consider this a failure in effort. And if I can get meta here for a moment, guys, writing, editing, shooting while working on the website and documenting the whole thing, super weird and kind of uncomfortable to be honest, but also a, a really valuable lesson. I think the reason we, we document and, and do anything is to, to learn from it eventually. Firstly, for us and our team, so we can kind of figure out how do we do this better next time, you know, like really kind of understand our process and then share that with, with you, right? With, with the world and hopefully anyone watching out there who's in a similar position or even thinking something similar can relate and say, oh, interesting, you know, and maybe we can save, save you some time or some headache. Okay. Now, our website is arguably the most important part of our business. And if you were to ask everyone that works here, and probably all of you, what it should do, be, or look like, we get a lot of different answers. So, although the new site may not be perfect right now, I know it's a step in the right direction. And I have to be okay with that. So here's the new plan. We're going to re-evaluate the two pages that Chris reviewed, and then modify the design so that it better reflects the stylescape. Because if we can get these pages in as good graces, then we can move forward with confidence. I'm really confident in the team that they're going to get us where we need to go. I'm also a big believer in that there is no such thing as a perfect thing, that getting something done is better than getting it perfect because we can keep adjusting as we go. So now you're gonna see the new site for the first time. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm ready for it to be done, man. I hear you loud and clear. <laughs> so here we go. Okay. 
I feel like the design assets are there. At least it feels sophisticated enough and reflects the brand and what it is that we want to do. Overall, I think the design is very light open and it does reflect some of the stylescapes that Jamie had designed a long time ago. So I think we've made a lot of progress here. This is a big improvement from what I saw previously. And that's good because we're launching. The future is Chris's life's work, I, I guess you could say. To have him, you know, at least be happy with this MVP version of the website we put up, that, that thrilled me. I, I think that's, that's the goal. I want to make sure he feels really good and confident when he goes out into the world and is spreading the good, the good word about the future. And then when people go back to the website, they're like, yeah, cool. That, that aligns with, with what, what he shared, you know? So I felt good. Wait, you want to see the new website? Okay, go to the description in this video down there and you'll find a link to the website. Be warned, be careful. There are probably some broken things and missing pieces laying around, but go check it out. Kick the tires a little and let us know if anything is acting weird. And if you want to dig deeper about how we built the website, be sure and check out our sponsor, Webflow. They are paying us to say this, but after having used it for a few months, I would gladly tell you this for free. Webflow is the future of web design. It's crazy powerful, you can customize anything, and it's so much fun to work with. I encourage you to give it a shot. All right, my friends, this is it. And what can I say other than it's, it's been real? Um, Thank you so much for joining us on this roller coaster ride. Uh, I hope you learned something, and uh, especially from the mistakes that we made along the way. And uh, I hope you had a good time while, while you're doing it. So uh, thanks again, and uh, I'll see you around the internet later. And we'll do our, our QC when you're back in, in okay. September. I told Greg we're just gonna need to go to a hotel and sit there in a hot tub with a laptop for eight yeah, hours. If you guys want to do it on your own time, that's fine by me, guys. It's <laughs> good to be in a hot tub. Right there. Yeah, you set that one up for yourself. <laughs> okay, we good? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Thank Let's you. Get warm in hands. Yeah, okay. All right. Thanks, guys. All right, thanks. All right, cutting? Sure. Cut. Cut.